Hello all my makeup freaks and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi I'm Stephanie. So today I'm going to show you what my results for the Clean 5 by Spring and let me just say this is another Stephanie fails at pan challenges. I just suck and I've even redecorated my room have now I have like storage in my desk in front of me where I put my makeup on every day where I have a little play I'm going to show you my room tour at some point but I have a place where I put what I'm using or trying to use up in there so I can reach for it and I still suck I just suck because I love makeup and I hate to use the same products every single day that's awful I'm sorry uh let's get into it so the first thing that I tried to use up was this Studio Tech MAC foundation. Let me just say I consider this gone. It's a little bit left on the edge and I will continue to use that maybe a day or two. It's getting harder to get any product out but I do consider that very well done. If you look back at the original video you can see it just had a very little dent right in the middle. So I feel like I've really done good with that. I, in fact, I think that from that day to now I've used that foundation every single day except for days that I was trying out new foundations to review. Next up is this Rimmel Trio and I really wanted to use this green, lime green color up and if you can see, I'm, it's kind of hard to see like dense but that really does have a good amount of product gone. So I feel at some point, probably this year, I will definitely hit pan on that and I'll be happy. I do really like these colors. I'm just ready to get this out of my collection. It's been here for a while. Next up is a fail. This is the eyeliner that I tried to use up and it is an NYC eyeliner in Smoky Plum. It's a really pretty color. I think the problem comes in, it is not, it looks creamy on my hand, but it's not the easiest to get on your eye because it is waterproof. Once it gets on your eye, it's not the easiest to blend. So I really didn't reach for it as much as I wish I would have. I have sharpened it once. Somehow my sharpener is missing since I've redecorated my room. I need to find that. I will keep this in my collection and try to use it up but I don't know how successful I'll be because it's not something that I really enjoy using all that much. Next up is this Maybelline, what do you call it, quad. And I really wanted to use this color here and kind of tried my best to use this color. As you can see, this one has a good dent. This one is starting to have a dent and this one has a pretty good chunk missing. I use this color mostly. I have brow products that are a little bit too red. I will put this to kind of tone down the redness. Since my hair is almost black, I don't like a lot of red in my brows. I really do like this. I think this is great for just like natural days and it's it has good pigmentation. I'm just going to continue to try to use that up. Next up is this. And I think this lipstick has become a running joke in my pan challenges because it has been in every single one. And if I do another one, I guess it'll be in there again too. I am wearing it today and I actually think it really looks good with this look. So maybe I'll try to use it more. And here it is. Has it changed? Has it moved? I'm not even sure. I will say that this time around, I have really, really, really been working on it. Why haven't you gone anywhere? I just need to quit you. I mean, I have purple lipsticks to use and I'm stuck using this because it won't go away. Literally, I love this lipstick. It is a very pretty color. I do like the formula. It's just in my, been in my collection for a long time. I need to get rid of some stuff so I can get new stuff. And yeah, it is still around. Why? Last but not least was my bonus. And this is a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Natural. It is in light. As you can see, it does have hit pan here. It is just getting to the point that I'm afraid it's a little unsanitary. I, I keep... Um, 
you know, spraying it with alcohol and then rubbing it with tissue just because it is getting old. I did wind up buying the NARS powder, but I am still trying to use this up. Hopefully in the next few months, it may just get to the point where I'm just going to say I'm going to toss you just because it has been around for a while. So guys, let's just be honest with each other. Let's be honest. I am awful at pan challenges. I'm awful at them. Why? I have no idea. I'm going to keep trying. Maybe I'll do another one for summer. I don't know. It's just not my strong suit to get through stuff. I appreciate everyone that does pan challenges and does them so well. There are people on here that get through a palette in a year. I don't know. I, I don't have a clue how they do that. I hope you enjoyed this video. And tell me, are you good at pan challenges? Are you bad at pan challenges? Have you ever went through a lipstick in your life? I think maybe when I was 16 I did. This lipstick is the closest I have come in my adult life to using up a lipstick. This one right here. The bane of my existence. Closest thing I've ever come to using up a full tube of lipstick. I hope you enjoyed this video and please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye!